Hey, this is Judge Waits bringing you my first ever solo attempt at the new zombie map Origins. I am super excited to try this out. I've played it a few times with a group of four, but I've never tried this solo, so I'm not exactly sure what the best strategy is here. So this isn't a strategy guide. I just want to play this, have fun, talk to you guys, and see how far I can get in my first attempt. I want to get all the generators turned down. I want to pack a punch, and we'll see if we can get this done. I'm not going to look for parts or get any of that stuff going. I just want to concentrate on the gameplay and getting as far as I can early on all right round one let's see what we're doing here I know there is a part right here I might as well pick that one up that's like the one part where I know there is uh, I don't know if you know this but the challenges are right here that you want to do and hey I just noticed something honest goodness there are some symbols next to those challenges and I bet those are the things that show above your perks here I thought those were indicators of getting like perma perks or anything like that but I bet those show when you get the particular challenges done so we'll see if I can get those this round because I want to get all three I guess if you get all three and come back to this box you get something right there but I'm gonna turn on this generator get it going you can just knife these guys the first round all right, that was pretty easy. Make sure you pick up a shovel. I forgot to mention that when I did that. That will allow you to pick up the bones or dig those things up. I think that green glowing rock... Oh, double points. I think that green glowing rock is uh, part of the song Easter egg. I could be wrong. Maybe you guys know. But definitely pick up Quick Revive just in case you get knocked down. That's going to let you revive yourself. Alright, so I could be doing a lot better job maximizing points, but I just kind of want to get through this and not waste a whole lot of time. But I'm going to pick up the M14. Sometimes when I'm playing with a bunch of people, I like to just run to the next gun and get the MP40. But since I'm doing this solo, I don't want to get embarrassed, so I'm just going to pick this up. And speaking of running, let's just get going. Normally I kind of like to stay till round two, or I guess we as a group like to stay till round two. But since I'm doing this, I'm just going to do it. All right, so I'm not exactly sure where everything... Oh, that's awesome. I'm not exactly sure where everything at is at on this map. Oh, max ammo. Just what I didn't need. Probably when I really need a max ammo, I'm not going to get it. And I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to talk and think at the same time. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, oh, there's the mystery box. This is generator two. And I'm not going to hit the mystery box. I think I need... 1300 1200 points to get the mp40 that's a great weapon to get early on but i'm gonna just turn this on get this going i like to turn on these generators when there are just a few zombies left that way i can just concentrate on killing these guys and i don't have to worry about fighting the zombies at the same time i'm sure you guys do that as well that is knife this guy sit down all right 11 20 Still not enough points to get that. Uh, two zombies left. I don't want to take one of them out because as soon as I do, the other guy's just going to start running. Um, there's that one machine that you can buy perks at a reduced price at. All right, here's one. All right, that's going to get me the 1,300 points. All right. So I would hold off on hitting that mystery box. Chances are I would probably get like the war machine for the first thing if I tried hitting that. So MP40 though, that's going to help you out. It's great at headshots and it's going to get you at least, oh man, you could probably get to almost round 10 with that thing. But I'm not going to take any chances with that. I'll probably try and get to round 5 with it. Oh, dead end. Like I said, I really don't know this map all too well. So you have to forgive me with that. All right, let's just take these guys out. I can't go through the next door. I don't want to waste that MP40 ammo. Shoot him once, knife him. Oh, what? Oh, that stinks. Must have damaged that one. Remember, when you're using the M14, whatever round it is, if you take one bullet or if you subtract one from the round, shoot them that many times and then knife them. So round three, you want to shoot them twice, then knife them. All right. Come on, guys. Where are you coming? I'm still not real clear on where zombies drop in and pop out of. So uh, that's one of the reasons I'm playing a solo, just so I can get a really good feel for this map. I really need to learn it. You need to know where everything's at. Whoa. <laughs> oh, buddy. That would not have been good. Insta-kill. All right. We'll take that. Oh, zombie blood. So if you notice, there is like this blood bag thing. Oh, and double points. Man, am I on easy or something? I'm pretty sure I didn't change it to easy. But uh, like I said, with zombie blood, when you get that, obviously the zombies do not come after you. And if you look at the person, they look like a zombie. So I'm just seeing how many people are left. Like I said, I don't want to kill 
all of them I want to keep at least two of them that way they'll stay alive or they'll stay moving slowly and I don't have to worry about them running after me all right so which way do I go uh, there's probably a part around here in here somewhere I don't know let's go up uh, no man's land uh, I don't know <laughs> that sounds good where's the door all right here we go Oh, 1250. Darn it. I thought that... Oh, there's a rock. I think that's probably one of those Easter egg rocks for the song or something like that. Now, I think there was two of them, but I only see one of them. I'm going to rebuild this. I'll probably take him out. Hopefully, that he's not the last guy. Because I want to get to the next area. Alright. I'm just going to shoot him here. Normally, wait till they come in to drop something. But I don't want to wait. I don't want to make you guys wait. Oh, there's a fail. There's a fail. Die! All right, there we go. Now we got enough points. Let's head out in. Uh, yeah, let's head out into no man. Oh yeah, okay. This is where. Uh, this is where Pack a Punch is. Pack a Punch is up there, and I want to get to Juggernog. Juggernog is uh, over to my right. Oh, there's that big robot. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually get inside him. You just shoot the bottom of his foot. I forget if it's one certain side or if that changes, but when you do that. Uh, it will actually open up and then if he steps on you after you open that hole you'll actually go up inside him and you can grab a part in there it's pretty cool so alright I wanna make my way over to Juggernog because that is the most important perk when you are running maybe uh, besides quick revive but uh, quick revive I guess when you're playing solo but uh, I'd actually rather have Juggernog than quick revive because every time I get knocked down I usually am swarmed and cannot get to uh, Juggernog, and I usually end up getting knocked down again. Anyways, uh, if you notice this chest right here, I'm trying to kill him around it because you need to fill up these chests. That's one of the challenges. I have no clue how many bodies or how many zombies you have to do. If you guys know that, let me know that. All right, well, I better be careful. This mud right here, when you're running through it, it is uh, really slows you down, so you got to be really careful. Oh crap! Oh crap! I don't want to get that bomb because I really want to maximize my points. So and get headshots. What hit me? Just maybe a crawler or headless guy? I don't know. <laughs> that would have been really bad if I went down in round four. If I go down round four, round five, I'm not uploading this. I got to at least get the round ten. All right. Let's see what's down there. I don't know. Uh, over here is the generator though. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Almost got enough to get Juggernaut, so that's going to be really good. Alright, I don't want to waste my MP40 ammo, but I might have to. Because I'm not dropping these guys very good. Oh, there we go. Um, they will try and attack the machines, so you got to keep them off the machines. Uh, later on too, in the further rounds, they will actually start attacking them and turn these things off. But there we go. All right, Juggernog is now on and powered up. There's Ocho Blanco. Uh, here's that perk machine where you can buy a perk for 1500 The first time I bought oh, there's a robot. I better be careful. Be careful where you stand. If you notice, there are some places where the robot will stand and the light will light up red, kind of giving you a warning. And if you listen to your character, he'll tell you. I wonder which foot uh, was the one. Oh, well. All right, let's just get through this. Um, all right, I should be able to get to uh, oh son of a gun. I Thought I was gonna be able to get to juggernog dang it But apparently he must have been wounded a little bit. All right, so uh, I need 60 points I like how when you bring up the back menu it tells you what parts you have you can carry all the parts and uh, You know it'll tell you what you need to build something the only thing that I've been able to build so far is a zombie shield All right, I can get juggernog now. That's gonna really help me out I have a good chance. All right, I should be concentrating on headshots. Whoa, buddy! Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. That probably shouldn't be running in the mud. All right, what do I want to do next? Um, really want to get all the generators turned on. But uh, I tell you what, this is where I am going to end round one because I don't want to make the videos over 10 minutes. But I'll pick this up in the second video. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this so far, I would really appreciate it if you give it a, a thumbs up. As always, though, take care and God bless.